Howdy, y'all. Guess who's back? <laughs> Luke Snyder, general manager of Missouri Thunder. I felt like we just saw you, Luke. I know. Thanks it's, for having us back again. Well, we're so glad. And also our friend Briggs Matt, uh, Madsen, a, a writer for the PBR, and Ross Coleman, a coach for Missouri Thunder. Good morning, all y'all. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Look, my y'all's coming back because I, I, I see the cowboy hats. My Texas roots are coming back right they're, now. They're growing they're fast. Growing. <laughs> so, Luke, uh, tell us what's going on. Well, we're in town uh, drumming up some exciting news. We're bringing PBR back to Springfield for the first time since 2019 at Great Southern Bank Arena. That's exciting. <gasps> and, and when is that all taking place? We're going to be riding August 30th through September 1st. Okay. So uh, we're going to be at Bass Pro Shops tonight. It's going to be a free event. We're going to be giving away a lot of free swag, Missouri Thunder swag. Uh, from 4.30 to 6 at the Granddaddy Store, store number one here in Springfield. Mm -hmm. So really, it's not till August, but you guys are doing all the legwork right now. You're building up anticipation, publicity, you're ready to go. And Briggs, might, might I remind you, we got to meet Briggs last year. We were down there at Thunder Ridge, and you and your brother were here. So tell us, how have you been doing this past year? Uh, it's been good. It's been a great year. Yeah, we're just, uh, we can't wait to be back here in Springfield, though. How did you do last year? Uh, at the event? Or? Yeah, at the event. Uh, I don't... Dude, you probably did a lot of good. You're like, oh. <laughs> you <got it> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure you did. And then, so when you know, since this event is in August, I mean, you're obviously training all year round, but do you ramp it up? You know, in the weeks prior to PBR. Well, right now we're in the individual season, but uh, we'll be starting the team season here soon, and so yeah, we'll be getting the team back together and getting ramped up for our event, especially. Oh. And Russ, being a coach. What is that like with, with bull riders being a coach? How does that differ from being a coach for any other sporting? It's uh, it's it's seriously awesome. It's a dream job of, of mine. But uh, getting to be around guys like Briggs and other guys on our team, and uh, trying to help them any which way we can, whether it's with bull riding or just just being a cowboy in, in general, it's just been really good. But it's it's so much fun to be around these guys. Our team, Missouri Thunder, is going to be representing obviously Springfield right here. The last couple of years, we we've been in Ridgedale. Mm -hmm. But now we're moving it back to the city, and we're going to have Briggs, and we're going to have Andrew, and a lot of our guys on our team are going to be here, and we, we hope we can get everybody in, in town to come support us. Oh, yeah, and they're ready. Yeah. Did your coaching career stem from you being a rider prior? Yes, ma'am, exactly. Okay. I rode bulls in the PBR from, from 1999 until 2011. So me and Luke, we traveled together for many mm. years, and, <laughs> and it's just been just a, a great fit for me and Luke being from Springfield. and. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everybody knows who Luke Snyder is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Good. So, Ross, can you give me an example? What would you say to motivate one of the riders? Like, what kind of motivation do you give? Do you have to yell at them? Do you say it confidently with positivity? How does that work? Yeah. There you go. That, that second thing you said, confidence is everything. Confidence in bull riding is so huge because, obviously, the professional bull riding tour that we're on, we're riding the very rankest bulls in the world. So, having a guy like Briggs step up to the plate and having that confidence that he does have and uh, showing off, getting up there, being a cowboy that he is and yeah. doing his job. Mm -hmm. So That's confidence awesome. is key. Co confidence, confidence is key, everyone. Yeah. Um, and then we, you know, you guys were with Missouri Baseball yesterday. You guys have so many other events lined up that you'll be appearing at. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, we're going to go visit the uh, Ag School here in town uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, Briggs is going to get out his gear bag and show these kids what it takes to ride a bull. And uh, Ross is going to take a little bit, talk about a little bit about leadership and what it takes to be a leader. And uh, we're just going to have a great day with the kids out there at the Ag School. It's a great program. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit later on in the, in the next segment, we'll have uh, some representatives from there mm -hmm. and kind of talk about their program. But it's great. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're just thrilled to be back here. Missouri's just such a great state and such a great market for us in the PBR. So I know they've been craving to have it back. So we're, yeah. we're excited to be able to bring it back for it's them. It's a very supportive community when it comes to PBR, don't you think? Absolutely. It sure is. It always sells out really, really quickly. And, and it's a really loud crowd yes, and, and that, help, <laughs> that helps a lot too with these guys riding because you know you hear it all that and it gets your motor running yeah so. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah sure yeah. Briggs I, I'm curious what is what's in your is it gear bag did you say yep what all is in a gear bag so you got your bull rope that's what you put around the bull to hang on with uh, you got some protective gear helmet vest uh, and then a little bit of flash in your shaps which is just uh, kind of unique to us bull riders so uh -huh. Uh, there's there's lots of stuff to to show and and uh, show and tell. Use. Yeah. <laughs> so this could go for all three of you. Any, what do you think about the next generation coming up? Like I know you're meeting with kids, 
and they probably have a lot of questions, and they might be interested. What do you say to some kid who, who loves bull riding, who wants to get involved? How do they get started? I would say, for sure, like we talked yesterday about that a little bit, too, and it's like the Internet is all over. Everybody has a phone anymore, but go to YouTube or go to a school or go to a clinic. It's be like anything. Like, my kids play basketball. My, my, my kids don't even ride bulls or rodeo very much, but they have. They've been around it. But if my kid wants to be a good basketball player, he's going to go to find a clinic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Same thing in bull riding. If you're going to be a bull rider one day, I highly advise going to the right schools and the right clinics to go get involved the right way, getting on the right caliber of stock mm -hmm. where you're just finding your level and going from level one all the way to level 10. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that Briggs has grown up on a ranch and I grew up on a ranch. Luke Snyder's obviously went to schools when he was younger too. So yeah. it's, uh, it's That's something awesome. That, Something that it's very, it's good to see though for the future. We want the future of these guys to go do things the right way, to learn from the right guys. And, and as yeah. everybody knows, it's a very dangerous yeah, sport. So you want to sure. make sure that it's exactly what you want to do and you're not just doing it just for the, the glory and the, or the, the glamour and for somebody else. You want to uh, do it for yourself because it, you can get hurt. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And everybody wants to see a good wreck, but not anybody get hurt too bad. So you're going to be seeing plenty of thrills and spills at the Springfield event. <laughs> <laughs> well, and hey, you can make that first step today by visiting you guys at Bass Pro from 4, 4.30 to 6. Yeah, and we're, we want to give a special, uh, you know, a special offer to our Bass Pro fans and people that are around the Springfield area. If you just go to Missouri Ticks, Missouri State Ticks, T I X dot com, and you type in Bass Pro 25, we're going to give you 25% off tickets starting Ooh, now. That's tickets are starting at 20 bucks. So, I mean, it's a heck of a deal. Heck yeah. Of a deal. Heck of a show. Heck of a show. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen, Thank so you much. much. Okay, you guys catch them today over at Bass Pro. And coming up, we'll have our friend Tyler from We Move. We haven't seen him in ever. I don't know. I don't know. So, he's coming up. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Do the kids ever ask you?